Does bleeding at six weeks mean miscarriage? While some spotting is harmless, it can also mean something more serious. According to Hall, bleeding due to a miscarriage begins right around six to eight weeks of pregnancy. It starts with spotting, progressing to heavy cramping, and then a heavier than normal period, she says. How long after spotting will I miscarry? The physical process of miscarriage can take several days. The miscarriage bleeding may begin as light spotting and then progress to a heavier flow with clots after a few days. You may have some level of bleeding for up to two weeks, although it should not remain heavy for that entire time. Can stress cause bleeding in early pregnancy? Other than these reasons, threatened miscarriages are generally not caused by things you do, such as heavy lifting, having sex, or by emotional stress. Dot, dot, dot. The causes of this are the same as those for a threatened miscarriage. This is the most common cause of first trimester bleeding. Can you still have implantation bleeding at 6 weeks? Approximately 6 to 12 days after the embryo is conceived, some people experience mild vaginal spotting with or without mild cramping. This is known as implantation bleeding and may be mistaken for a menstrual period. This bleeding will generally resolve on its own, and it can be an early sign of pregnancy. Is spotting normal at 7 weeks pregnant? About 25% of pregnant women are estimated to experience spotting during their first 12 weeks of pregnancy. One study from 2010 found that spotting is most commonly seen in the 6th and 7th weeks of pregnancy. Spotting wasn't always a sign of miscarriage or meant that something was wrong. Is it normal to bleed and have cramps during early pregnancy? Bleeding and pain in early pregnancy is common. Heavy bleeding or blood clots could indicate a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. Such symptoms can include bleeding, spotting, cramps and stomach pain. What happens when you miscarry at 6 weeks? At 6 weeks, most women can't see anything that they can recognize when they have a miscarriage at this time. With the bleeding you may see clots with a small sac filled with fluid. The baby, which is about the size of the fingernail on your little finger, and a placenta might be seen inside the sac. What does a miscarriage feel like at 6 weeks? This cramping or tummy pain may accompany the bleeding, or come alone. It may be mild or severe, a dull ache or sharp pain or feel like backache. A discharge of fluid from the vagina can also indicate a miscarriage. You may simply feel that you are not pregnant anymore. What can cause bleeding in early pregnancy? Causes of bleeding and pain in early pregnancy. Implantation bleeding, this happens when the fertilized egg implants in the uterus lining, causing some cramping pain or light bleeding. Bleeding from the cervix, this is more common in pregnancy due to the increased blood flow. Miscarriage. When should I be worried about spotting in early pregnancy? In the first trimester, spotting is somewhat more common, but should also be reported to your doctor or midwife. Call your obstetrician especially if you notice heavy bleeding similar to a menstrual period to make sure the bleeding is not a result of pregnancy complications, such as an ectopic pregnancy. How does a miscarriage start? Most miscarriages happen in the first trimester. The first sign is usually vaginal bleeding or cramps that feel a lot like strong menstrual cramps, Carusi said. But most women who have bleeding in the first trimester don't have a miscarriage so it doesn't necessarily mean you are losing the baby, she added. How long can pregnancy spotting last? Only about a third of pregnant women experience implantation bleeding after they get pregnant, but it's considered a normal symptom of pregnancy. In most cases, implantation spotting only lasts from a few hours to a couple days, but some women report having implantation spotting for up to seven days. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more of these videos.